Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 38, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's class, we're going to cover two main topics. First, we're going to cover multi-valued fields. I know they're backwards on the screen. <laughs> I flipped them around because they fit better that way. The pictures did. Multi-valued fields are first. We're going to learn what multi-valued fields are, why you should avoid them. Avoid them like the plague. They're easy to set up. And, you know, they're there for beginners to be able to pick multiple items, but you don't want to use them as a developer. They're bad. They're ba bad, bad, bad. Okay? I'm going to teach you an alternative using multi-select list boxes. Then we're going to spend some time learning how to replace multi-valued fields if you encounter one in a database that maybe you built earlier or someone else gives you and you have to fix it. Accessing a multi-valued field is kind of crazy. It requires some code. We're going to go over it in today's lesson. Then we're going to cover multi-column forms. It's getting pictures to display in a subform in multiple columns. And yeah, you could do it easily in reports, but you can't do it in a form unless you know my trick. It's going to involve some record set programming and a lot of cool stuff. Access wasn't designed to do it, but we're going to make it do it. All right, so that's covered in today's class. This class, of course, has prerequisites. I strongly recommend you've taken all my previous classes, beginner, expert, advanced developer. I don't recommend you skip levels. If you want to know why, watch this video on skipping levels. I especially suggest you've taken developer 15 and 16 where I cover record sets. If you don't know record sets and how they work, you will be lost in today's class. I'm using Access 365. I got a subscription roughly equivalent to Access 2021 right now. If you got questions pertaining to today's class, feel free to scroll down to the bottom of the page that you're on and post them right on my website. And we'll do our best to answer your questions as soon as we can. And if you got other questions that are particularly not, you know, pertaining to today's class, but you want to ask them anyways, go ahead and head over to the Access Forum. Now let's take a quick look at exactly what's covered in today's lessons. In lesson one, we're going to learn about multi-valued fields. What are multi-valued fields, how to use them, and why you should avoid them. This is a free bonus lesson. In lesson two, we are going to learn how to read the data in a multi-valued field with VBA. So we can get at that information that's hidden inside of that multi-valued field. We're going to learn how to read it with a record set and then how to add an item to it. In lesson three, we're going to be pulling that data out of the multi-valued field and putting it into a proper junction table. We'll use my DLOOKUP plus function to display the data that should be shown in the sales reps box on the customer form. And then we'll write the code to actually loop through all of the customer records and rip out that data and put it properly in the junction table. And we'll see how to deal with the object invalid or no longer set error. In lesson four, we're going to create a multi-valued field list box that's multi-select. So when we double click on our sales reps text box on the customer form, it pops this guy up. It will automatically select the records that are in the junction table. We can change it if we want to. Then we'll make an OK and cancel button. So if we hit OK, it saves those records back to the junction table and updates the customer form. And of course, if we hit cancel, it doesn't do any of that. Lesson five is a free bonus lesson. We're going to set up a product catalog. Yeah, I'm going to cheat instead of product catalog. It's going to be a customer catalog. It's going to basically be a customer with multiple images per customer. I had a tech help video where one of my students asked me to do a product catalog where it's a product with multiple pictures of a product. I did it with customers because that's the database that I had available. So lesson five is going to be that and it's going to be a setup for something a little more advanced in lessons six and seven. In lesson six, we're continuing with our product catalog. We're going to set up a sub report along with a multiple column report. So you can have multiple columns in your sub report under each customer or a product catalog or whatever you decide to do. Lesson seven has been what the last two lessons have been building up to. I'm going to show you how to build a form with multiple columns in it. In other words, we're going to display multiple images in a sub form that look like they're in multiple columns. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. In lesson eight, we are continuing with our multi-column form. 
We're going to make it so we can click on a picture. It opens up another picture that lets you edit that picture. You can pick a different one. You can delete it. You can add new ones, all that stuff. That will be covered in Lesson 8.